Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, I rise to express my support to the gallant generals, senior officers, and uniformed personnel of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, led by their Chief of Staff, General Romeo Browner, Jr. The AFP has been hogging the headlines recently due to the tense situation in the West Philippine Sea. Sa kabila ng banta sa kalambuhay, pananakot at pagigipit ng isang superpower, hindi po nagpapasindak ang ating mga kawaning, ang ating mga bayaning kawal. Our brave men and women in uniform have remained loyal to their calling with utmost patriotic fervor and performed their constitutional mandate as defenders of the Filipino nation. My snappy salute to all of you. Let me also put into the record my support to the confirmation of the ad interim appointment of Lieutenant General Broner as a four-star full-fledged general. When I had an official visit in Fort Bonifacio, Philippine Army last April as chairperson of the Senate Committee on National Defense and Security, I mentioned that General Broner had the makings of the next AFP Chief of Staff. Because of the way he talks, he presents and conducts himself, and the manner he effectively leads the biggest component of the armed forces of the Philippines. At hindi nga po ako nagkamali, or should I say, nagdi lang anghel nga ako. Congratulations and we look forward to a strong leadership in the AFP amidst all the issues surrounding the defense establishment, from the continuing maritime disputes and foreign incursions in the West Philippine Sea, the urgency of implementing the modernization of military assets and building a credi credible defense posture, up to the severing discontent within the ranks arising from the proposed reforms in the MUP pension. Tutulungan po kayo ng inyong Senado sa ilalim ng pamumuno ni Senate President Juan Miguel Subiri upang kayo ay magtagumpay sa inyong mabuting hangarin para sa ating sandatahan lakas sa susunod na tatlong taon ninyong maximum tour of duty bilang AFP Chief of Staff. Mr. Chair, let me also put on record my personal endorsement to Major General Romel Roldan, the Deputy Chief of Staff for Personnel, or J-1, who has been of great help to the Senate Committee on National Defense in the passage of the bill amending Republic Act 11709, which has since been enacted as Republic Act 11939. Kasama ko po siya sa mga briefings dito sa Senado at kahit ipapatawag namin ng linggo, dumarating po siya. He has been patient and very professional in our sessions. He has also been helping us and the economic team in doing the rounds nationwide in major military camps from Baguio to Zamboanga to explain to our soldiers and solicit, and solicit their insights about the proposed reforms in their pension. That's all, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much.